There are multiple ways to import data into Zoho CRM, but the key to have a successful import is the prep work you do before the import. This normally starts on a spreadsheet. In this case, we have one spreadsheet with three tabs. One has accounts, the next one contacts, and the last one has deals. In the account spreadsheet, we have basic information about the accounts, organizations, or companies that we want to add to the CRM. It is important to notice that all the accounts name had to be different. There should not be different accounts with the exact same name. In the contact spreadsheet, we have information about all the contacts, including the name of the account they are related to. As you can see, several contacts can be related to the same account. In the deal spreadsheet, you can find information about the deals we have with our contacts and accounts. Each deal is associated with a contact's email address, as well as with the account name related to the contact. Before importing the data, we're going to set up the layouts, making sure we have the fields we need. So let's open the CRM settings and open the deals layout. In the spreadsheet, there is a field called type that is not in this layout. Let's add it. Name is going to be work type. This is a drop down field, so let's add the options consultation, implementation, and development. Just like that, you can add as many fields as you need. All the field types have a different purpose, so you should understand what each one is for before modifying the layout. For example, I saw many people using multi select fields when the best option was to use a pick list. Same with date versus date time fields. Depending on which one you choose, you will be able to use different features in the CRM, like triggering workflows based on a date or time. All right, let's save this layout. Now let's go to the accounts module. Here we're going to modify the account name field. We don't want to allow duplicates, so let's select that option. We are doing this because the account name is the only field that we are normally going to have available to link the account with the contacts and the deals. Remember, we are setting everything up to import data to the CRM correctly. All right, click on save and close. Okay, now we're gonna import the data. I like to do it from each module individually. First, let's start with accounts. Click on this arrow and then on import accounts. I have all the spreadsheets I'm gonna use on my desktop, so I'm going to drag and drop the accounts spreadsheet. Next, in this window, we're gonna select both. So we add new accounts and update existing accounts based on the account name. Now we have to map the fields. Company name is going to be account name. The other ones were mapped automatically, but you should always double check. We're also going to add a tag to the accounts we're importing. For this, go to assign default value, search for the field tag, and we're going to create a new tag called import demo. Let's click on next. And this message is saying that we didn't map a field from the spreadsheet. The field is the ID, which we don't need. In this final window, we can choose if we want to trigger automations and assignment rules after the import. For example, if you have an automation that creates tasks after you create a new account, it will not trigger when we do an import, unless you select this box. In this case, we're gonna leave it as is. All right, click on finish to start the import. And we got this message saying that data was imported successfully. Let's click on it. Here we can review the data in case we got any errors. Next, we're gonna import the contacts. Same as before, import contacts. Drag and drop the contact spreadsheet. Here we're gonna choose both and it is going to be based on the email address. Here we're going to map the first name and last name. For company name, make sure to pick account name. This will link the contact with account. And we're also going to add a tag. We have to create a new tag because tags are related to each module. The one we created before was for the accounts module. Next, yes, continue. And in this final window, click on finish. All right, the contacts have been imported. Let's open the report. Everything looks good, so let's close this. Now we're going to import the deals. So import new deals, drag and drop the deals spreadsheet. In this case, we're going to add all deals as new. I know all of them are not in the CRM, so we don't need to update any records. Now let's map the fields. Deal name is deal name, 
Type is the field that we added to the layout called work type. Primary contact is the contact name. Make sure to use the email. And company name is account name. Make sure to use the account name and not the account ID. We are not going to add any tags, so click on next. And we got an error. The field stage is mandatory, but we didn't map it. To fix this, let's go to the assign default value tab. The field is stage, and the value is value proposition. Next. And click on finish. We got the notification, so let's see the report. It looks like there were some errors here. I think the problem was that the spreadsheet was incorrectly formatted. But if you see up here, there were five records added, so everything was imported correctly. And if we close this, we can see that now we have more records in the value proposition stage. Let's open a deal that we just imported. Here we can see that it is linked to a contact. And if we scroll down, we can see that it is also linked to an account. If for any reason the import went wrong, you can undo it. Go to the settings and then import. On the tab import history, you will see all the imports that you have done so far. To undo it, hover over it and click on undo import. You have 30 days to undo an import. After that time frame, you won't be able to undo the import.